Hi there. In this video, I'm going to give you four quick tips that will really help you get your degree level studies off to a flying start and maximize your chances of a smooth and successful progression into the second year of your degree and beyond. The first piece of advice I'd give you in ensuring that your degree level studies get off to a good start is to really focus on the way that you integrate within your university and the course that you're studying. And what I mean by this is simple stuff like make sure that you attend any induction sessions for your course. Make sure you attend the Freshers Week. But also think about how the university is going to fit in with other commitments you have in your life. Uh, one of particular note being paid employment. But also think about how a university might fit in with extracurricular activities you have like you know, regular hobbies and interests. And you'll find that attending to these things will improve your sense of belonging within your institution. You'll feel like you're properly integrated and you fit in and you belong on your course. And research has indicated that this sense of belonging is a good predictor of academic engagement. And of course, academic engagement is a good predictor of academic achievement. The second piece of advice I'd give you in getting your degree level studies off to a flying start is to ensure that you don't fall into the trap of believing that the first year is somehow less important just because it doesn't contribute to your overall degree classification. The first year is all about making that transition from further education to higher education. What you're effectively doing is learning to study for a degree and also learning what you need to do to get the kind of marks that you aspire to. So you want to achieve this and make any mistakes you might make along the way when your marks aren't going to contribute towards your final degree classification. You don't want to be getting to the second year of study and then have to make a mad scramble to try and figure out what you need to do to get the grades that you want. Because at that point, you're going to be behind and any mistakes you make are going to drag down your overall degree classification. So really make a mental note to get the absolute maximum out of your first year of study. The third piece of advice I'd give you in terms of making sure your degree gets off to a really good start is to promptly deal with any issues that might emerge with respect to your finances or your personal life. It's very easy when you begin studying to think to yourself, look, this process of studying is going to require all of my time, effort and energy, and I really can't be dealing with extracurricular problems at this point in time. But the thing about problems is they often get worse over time. So if you put off the resolution of a financial issue or a problem of your personal life until the end of term, there's a fairly good chance that what might have started off as a fairly insignificant or minor problem might escalate into a problem of a magnitude that really affects your ability to engage with your course. So if you think you might be having an issue with your finances or in your personal life, it's really important that you contact your university's support and advice centre as soon as you can. They're well staffed with people who are well versed in dealing with student problems and can give you really good advice on issues associated with housing and finances. And they also usually have a team of counsellors that can help you work through any personal issues that you might be having. The final piece of advice I'd give you in terms of making sure your degree studies get off to a really good start is to immediately make an appointment with your programme leader or course director if for whatever reason you're not satisfied with your course. Now problems with student satisfaction with a course can occur for a wide variety of reasons. Sometimes there are administration problems that's frustrating a student and preventing them from beginning their course satisfactorily. Sometimes it may be that the student realises that the course really isn't for them, it's not quite what they expected. Other times the student might just be having issues with making the transition from further education to higher education. But whatever the reason, if you're not satisfied with your course and you go and see the programme leader or course director early, there's a much greater likelihood they'll be able to do something to address your concerns. Quite a common scenario is a student begins a programme of studies attends a week or so of lectures, and then realises that they probably made a mistake in selecting that particular programme of studies and they would prefer to do an alternative degree. If this happens to you, it's really important that you speak up early because if you act early, then there's a very good chance the university can transfer you to a more suitable course. 
But of course, this is a very time sensitive action because you wouldn't want to be transferred onto a course too far into term because then you'd be very far behind the other students and you'd find it difficult to catch up and then you'd be dissatisfied with the course for completely different reasons. So if you find yourself in a position where you think, I'm really not happy with how things are going, then go and see your program director or your program leader as soon as possible. And if they can't help you personally, they'll certainly know where to send you to get the advice you need to resolve the problem you're having. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please do hit the like button. If you're interested in more videos about how psychological research can help you study more effectively, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications if you want to know when I post new content. Thanks very much.